Mr. Steph. Are you live? We are live. That was pretty quick. Okay, then uh, I guess oh, welcome to the Airsoft Park field days. This is our little streaming van that we have prepared. Can I see myself now? No, I can't. Yeah, I can. Okay, we're live. So the Airsoft Park to roll is in completely insane. You can see they're still working on it. We have set up four uh, head cams. So everyone that's coming here to the event, it was about 100 people today, um, had had the chance to play with us. But tonight, we're putting a helmet on their head and we're streaming live how they play. So we put together two, um, two man teams, two man firing squads. We have Sniper Buddy Fabi, we have Names Nico, we have uh, Sniper Jacko who's come out here uh, from the UK. We had 20, 30 guns which we gave to everyone here, more, almost pretty much everyone here now is playing with umbrella guns. Uh, you can see some of our staff still prepare that. Right here is our little staging area for the day. We had a blast, but we didn't start the stream until now because it was way too freaking hot. Whoever had the idea to do a live event in August, like at the most hot day, should go to jail. The Airsoft Park Chirol Manuel set this up. They have an event agency, so they helped us create all this. We couldn't have done it on our own, obviously. You can see nice. Sniper Bobby right now. He's already in his jersey, you can see here. Is that your main jersey? Yeah, it is. That looks good. So why do you guys not wear the same jersey? I thought you played together. It is a different jersey. I still have to see who's gonna play together. I know that you're gonna play against Name Sneaker tonight. I heard that you're going head to head. But he's already wearing the FPV equipment, you can see. He's got this little uh, 3D printed mount on there. He's got all sorts of like wiring, additional power supplies. He has a, um, a receiver and a sender on here, so we can see his perspective later. Hannes is right here with me right now. He's holding the gimbal, so uh, we can't switch to his perspective, but later we can. And we will see him go head to head with names uh, with uh, Cyberbody Fabi and I think uh, Salty, as it seems. We'll still have to sort out the teams. It's going to be quite interesting to see who's going to play together. We have our Polish friends here from Team Jedrek. Uh, we have Maniki right here, Joey, uh, 74 from Instagram. Uh, he's going to go hard. You're go are you going to win today? We try. Yeah. We try. We'll try. For Poland, right? Yeah, for Poland. Yes, he's playing for Poland. We have a few more people here from Germany, from Russia, from uh, Switzerland I've seen. I think someone from France is here. So quite international. The whole idea being, let's find a way to play together and do something like the Euros, where in the end, probably Britain will come out second. Another one of our Polish players from Team Jedrek that I can tell from knowing his gear. And then a few other players that are just ready right now to play. You can see all of them, not all of them, but many of them uh, have had taken the chance to choose one of our rifles and play with it today. So they're equipped to somewhat be able to compete with these other guys. But then we have someone like Fabi who has played here so many times. And that's something that I admire because this field is super complex. Let's have a walk around real quick. This is called the marketplace. It's basically uh, the, the very first area where the spawn is for one of the sides. And it goes all the way back there where you might be able to... <laughs> the uh, bridge. The bridge. Oh yeah. Something that, something that is pretty much that this field is very much well known for. We're right under the Euro Bridge. So quite, quite the view, right? Looks amazing. I think it's, it's pretty sick that we're able to play here tonight because this is one of the most world renowned airsoft fields that there are. And I want to say a big shout out to the guys from the Airsoft Park to roll and especially Manuel because they know by now that we don't know how to set something like this up. All we know how to do is create cool guns for players to play with, but... Too many chickens, but in the meantime, we have assembled the first players. So you can see here right now, we have Max, his name, player name is Salty, together with Fabi in the back of us, getting ready, putting on the streaming equipment. So we're gonna see the first game uh, between them two. And here we have Name Sneaky, he's already got his setup on his head. You said that you, you, you you had a voice in your head, right? You yeah, said, I thought there was a factory behind me, and then you turned that off and I realized it was the fun of my head. I can't hear shit. Oh my lord. It's okay, like, well, at least the odds are not against you because there's well, they everyone. Are me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, God. Why? Because I've got a fucking factory on my head. 
these other guys are going to wear it too. Don't you think that makes it an even playing field? Yes. Okay, so at the very least, do you think you can actually play and win against Fabi and Max? Yeah, I do. Really? Yeah, I what do. What makes you so confident? Because there's no yeah. tunnels. No tunnels. Oh, no, no real flanking. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's just, it's just skill. Nah, I just, you know, it's just this little bit here, you know? Okay, so, so have you made yourself accustomed a little bit with the map? Yeah, but I'm not do you know giving away any secrets, bro. No secrets, not giving away any no secrets. No secrets, because he's listening, right? Yeah, he's right there, the enemy's right there. Oh, and Yeah, I see you, listening. So, Nika, what are you playing with today? Oh, you have the prototype, The prototype, actually. and to be fair, this has actually been a good gun. It's a great gun. Really? Yeah, really well, good. You've been playing with it for the rest of the day, right? I want to play with it when I go back to England. Why don't we show... Why, yeah, we should. And why don't we show that to the stream a little bit, because... That is our newest creation. It's the Oka XF11 with the X Force handguard that we've designed this year, uh, together with our cooperation partner PCU and obviously his streaming equipment that he's using for first-person view and the uh, selfie camera. camera. He has got a vortex sight on it, and obviously the Oka body, together with all sorts of internals, revised for 2022. And this gun is going to release for the winter season, unit, right? That's our umbrella hop up unit that we made together with Max model, together with a Max model trigger and a brushless motor actually. So something that is a little bit different, and you said that it's doing well, yeah, right? It's nice. You've, like been, it. you've had good accuracy with yeah, it. Yeah, and it's ranges pretty well as well. I've been using this big window from that factory house there. Okay. Front spot, it's been going through the window. So we don't want to share any secrets, but how are you going to play? Like sneaky peaky, or are you going to be really fast? Defensive. Defensive. Because I think he's going to okay. get confident. Now I'm going to try and pick him off when he moves. We're getting some speedy boys. Never worn a helmet before. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Oh, your your Bill, whole Bill's setup has changed. You look so different. I look different. Wow, but you're wearing shorts too. Yeah, you it's look hot. very much alike it's quite hot. with them. But he's a speedy boy. Oh, he's fucking rapid. He was, we saw some footage of his earlier games, Ooh, and you were yeah, literally yeah, devastating yeah, people with your speed. <laughs> You're flying. Actually, Fabi's done now. Let's have, have, a, let's have a look at Fabi real quick. <laughs> he looks so... That looks so crazy. <laughs> I feel stupid. <laughs> you shouldn't feel like that. Why? <laughs> with the helmet. I just don't like helmets. Okay, yeah, well, you don't really usually use it, right? No. All you have is the paintball mask, and yeah. your kit changes all, all the time. Right, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what works best with the Oka for me. And yeah, I was trying a plate carrier, but it gets super hot. Yeah, yeah so not really I like that too, honestly. I wear a chest trick whenever yeah. I can. You don't really need more than that. No. You don't need to be like super milsome ish like this guy over there. Can you stand next to each other without killing each other? Or should I, should I be in the middle? Whoa. It's just like. Oh, I'm is really is done. Shaking in my booty. It's just like Habib and McGregor, and you're gonna just start, start <laughs> something bad. I don't wanna beef with Habib, mate. You'll fucking pull your head off. No. So they were, they were playing together at the beginning of the day. And I think I saw Nico trying to learn a bit, a little bit at least, from how he plays the map. And did you, did you did you feel like you learned anything from this geezer? Yeah, he's fast. He's fast. Yeah, he's fast. Really, you wouldn't yeah. think that. Hey. No. <laughs> I thought that Jaco was the fast one. Oh, he's fast. Oh, yeah. And here we have the biggest lean machine in airsoft. Uh, he's actually just turned TikTok famous. Is that uh. right? And then, and then, <laughs> no. and he was immediately banned after that. So his Instagram, yeah. uh, his, his TikTok success story was like zero to a million psh, and immediately banned. So <laughs> apparently TikTok doesn't like airsoft, no? How'd that go? No. Well, you know what TikTok's like. They see anything that looks remotely like a gun and they take it down. But then there'll be other clips that have people getting shot in. And, and it remains fine. up. They're fine. Right. You can see he's put a lengthy amount of effort into his football boots, the higher <laughs> socks, oh. right? Uh, he has the shorts, which make him faster. It's a 10% boost in speed. And then you can see he's running the latest seasonal wear of Umbrella Army resident shirts together with our sponsors. So I think we should probably go into a little bit of a sponsored break. So we want to put out a personal thank you to Invader Gear, Nimrod and TMH Trading who are doing Airsoft Zone for sponsoring our event, giving us t-shirt and equipping us with over 150,000 shots of BBs that this guy is putting full auto into other people. You can see the final videos on YouTube, but we just want to give a big thank you and shout out to them for supporting us all this time. Thank you Florian for making this happen. Thank you TMH, thank you Airsoft Zone. So I'm back in the streaming van right now. We're able to view live all the perspectives now without delay. If I'm on the field, I have to only talk with delay and I'm hoping that 
you can do it this way much better. They're getting started for the games right now. You can see all the four perspectives at the t at the same time. This is never I've never seen anything like this before in airsoft, especially with the multi perspective. That's amazing. So the game is started right now. They're putting lots of rounds down range right there. Sponsored by Nimrod, they don't feel like they need to actually spare any ammunition. We can see Jake already taking the high ground right there. I'm not sure they can see each other. They're still all very much far behind. Jake is taking the high ground, making sure that they cannot push up right now. So, and where's Nico? I know that Nico is it's very, very slow paced, thought through, thorough in the back right now. He does not want to get shot. He said earlier when we were still in the behind the scenes that his military training does kick in and he just does not want to get shot. I mean, he doesn't want to get hurt in the one in one place, but in the other part, I mean, that's the whole the name of the game for him, I guess. Just do not get shot. But we can see they're all staying back. No one is taking any risks. I think that we should uh, have a timer for the next game, making sure that they cannot overrun on the timer. Because I feel like otherwise they will not want to get hit for this entire time. So Jake and Nico still behind. Nico is now with Jake. They're teaming up. Let's see what they're doing. Where are we at now? The, Nico's looking down the left lanes. And Fabi is pushing up. Fabi is taking some risks right now. He's already at least one of the barriers ahead. We're probably going to see them have an encounter in a second. Fabi flanking around on the left side. And he's taking. is he taking him out? Nico. Oh, 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 oh. I think he might. He's still not down. Oh, he's taking down it. Good lord. He's actually got him. So now we, now we're seeing Sniper Jacko flanking around the right side. He's taking down Fabi right away with his stock gun. He doesn't even have a real firearm. He doesn't have sights, nothing like that. Just his tracers helping him to move down. He's pushing up. He's on the ground. He's going full effort. This is A class effort right now from his side. He's really giving it his all. Nico still in the back, holding the defensive position, and I think this is how you should play this. Uh, you guys may know this from the 2v2s that we had in Modern Warfare, uh, when you have one of the more aggressive players like Sniper, B B Buddy Fabi, um, um, also pushed up and Salty stayed behind just like that now. Oh, that trading! Salty and Nico traded. That's a win for Team UK right now. The first win of the day. So I thought that was really impressive, actually. Um, you could see that towards the end, they were taking risks more so. Uh, being one player up, Nico and Salty trading for the first win of the day. So now we have the second round of games right now. Let's see what they have learned from their first game here. We still have... Sniper buddy Fabi and Salty on the one team, they have done a switch sides for the second game of the day here. And we still see they're very much on the on the reserves here, playing defensively. Salty looks a little bit like he's pushed up. I would love to actually have like position beacons right now so you can see exactly <laughs> where they're on the field. Um, but You're dreaming too high. I know I'm dreaming too high, but I love this because we are actually taking steps towards what I believe is the right way to go with Airsoft. Because this, for myself, for my part, it's very exciting. I hope you guys in the chat are enjoying this. Um, I will try to read up on the chat a little bit in the, in the next minutes. Um, but if you guys have anything, make sure you use the exclamations. Make sure you use the a high alert thing so we can read them here in the back uh, in the back office. And there, they know where they are right now. You can see uh, Fierce Fireside, top right corner, Sniper Jacko fighting against Salty. You can see both of their flashlights on. Uh, they're Tracers firing the entire time. Fast reload at on the on the on the on the AT team on the Austrian team right now from Salty. You can see they're giving it their all. They're shooting a lot. They're firing a lot. They want to make sure that heads stay behind cover. And we can we we see the bottom left corner. Nico not too sure where Fabi is right now. I think that Fabi is in a very good position right now, fighting against Nico. He's holding him down. Fabi is pushing up. Fabi's pushing up right now. Do we see another kill here? Nico's very much aware, taking cover again, making sure he doesn't get shot from behind. This is going to be a very interesting situation right now. Very interesting situation. They're pushed far behind. Sniper buddy Fabi is out again. I think Jake has taken him out. That was such a good play. They are managing so well to play together. So let's see. Fabi is pushing up. Uh, Fabi's out, Nico's out. Now it's just a 1v1. 
We have Salty on the Austrian team. And we have Sniper Jacko on the UK team. They know where they are. They know of each other. They know exactly what's going on. Can we do on a 2v2? Is that possible? Two screens. Ah, that would be great right now. Just go, just focus in on these two players right now. Oh, and what is it? What is it? Oh, another trade. Who won this? Who won this? I need to know. Who won this? Is this another? Is this a win for Austria? Yeah. Austria has won this. All right, we got a. We got the refs telling us that Austria has won the second match, the second round of the Euro Airsoft games that we're doing here right now. See, Austria against Great Britain, still figuring out the rules here in the background and trying to make sure that this is a fair game for everyone. So we have the first out here, it looks like Salty is already out. Sniper buddy fabi has got his head over, gun over his head. That was a fast... So it's a restart. Who won this one? That was very fast. It looks like Great Britain has won. The cool team of Deutschland comes here yet! Danke. We have someone that has a very loud voice right here from Austria. You People said that you're gonna voice. win this. I, saw, yeah. I said I think I have good chances. He had better ones? I guess so. Yeah. Well, what was going on? The last match was so fast. It's intense, man. It's actually really. I can see why Speedsoft is so big because it's like competitive yeah. and it's fun. And there's a, there's, a, there's a little bit on the line, right? Yeah. So I made it, I really wanted to win. Well, <laughs> you, made it, you, you made that happen. You may be able to come up to the next level uh, by winning against the next losing team. So we'll try to do that. We'll see if we can... That's the loser's bracket. Good. Loser's bracket. Thank you very much for the special terms that no. I have no idea about. <laughs> what me and Nico both agreed on is that we were not going to push and play aggressive at all. We we're going to wait for them to be yeah. vulnerable yeah. in movement, yeah. for then us to get behind cover and shoot them as they're moving. Right, and I remember that one of first or second game, he took he took you out because you were pushing up on the left side. Yeah. Yeah. We knew we knew Fabi because he knows the map. Was gonna go for it. Yeah. So we just picked arcs, which is like right. uh, aggressive angles, and then just held them. Behind us, we actually have our team of the behind the scenes setting up the next team, an Austrian team and a German team. Whoever is losing from your team has to play against Fabi and Salty. We have uh, Austria against Germany now. On the Austrian team, we have Martin and Armin. They are part of the, um, the main team that are playing here at the Eisel Park Tirol. They are head to head with uh, Sniper Buddy Fabi and Salty. The two players who we've seen here before, so they are very versed, they know the map. And then we have two more players from Germany, their names are Nico and Timo. This is amazing, it seems like now we have a live feed together with the referee, Arceus Zutas Julian. Okay, so as I said, we have Austria against Germany here today. And uh, you can see, they are much more aggressive this time. You can see the German team on top, uh, the Austrian team on top. They are playing a little bit more defensively. Actually, no, I'm sorry. The uh, Austrian team is on the left side. The right side is the German team. Very sorry for this confusion. Um, you can see playing much different to how Sniper Buddy Fabi and them are playing. And uh, it looks like for the next games, we will definitely put on traces for all players here to make it much more of a better viewing experience to unite here. Uh, something that uh, we haven't given out to every player yet. But we do have PCU as a sponsor here tonight. They're sponsoring uh, the uh, tracer equipment that everyone here at the field is able to use uh, to just walk up to the players. And uh, it looks like we have the first person that was out. We have uh, Julian, the referee, has just taken out one of the players. He has not felt the hit. It looks like Martin, camera three, bottom left corner, was taken out of the game. And this is game. This is it. This is it. The game is over. The Austrians have won the first game. Here we go, and this is another win for the Austrian team here that at least makes it a little bit even. It looks like in the first tournament we had the Austrians lose against the Brits and now the Austrians winning against the Germans.
Can you? Okay, so another slow start, much less aggressive than during the first game. As we can see here, everyone's learning this new pace. All these players are known to this field, they have played here before, but this is a new type of game play. We have heard from Nico and Fabi after the last game that this is an entirely new way of playing the game. And they said that Speed QB or Speed Soft is something that they weren't too accustomed to, but they can now see why it's so interesting, because there's something at stake. You can see the Austrian team on the left side now making a push. They're playing the same way as the, as the other guys have before, but they're actually being faced on the left side. He doesn't have a lot of cover. Timo's moving up. They're going to meet up in the middle now. I believe that they're, we're going to have a close encounter just now on the left side of the map here by the bus. It looks like he's holding down that lane. And now, here we go. That's the first encounter between Timo and, by the looks of it, Armin. They are fighting. We can't tell precisely how they're doing, whether we have a hit yet. We haven't heard anything from the referees yet in terms of anyone getting hit. And it looks like we have a hit. It looks like Armin is down, Martin, Timo is down as well. Martin has taken down Timo, and now it's just Nico against Martin. It's just another 1v1 situation. It's just like earlier. Martin with a quick reload, bottom left corner. Now this is going to become very interesting. They're going to, we're going to have to see who's going to come out victorious. Martin doing the push right now. Let's see where he's going to push up to. Nico hidden in the dark corners of the, of the field. It's going to be very hard to see here. He's not going to be able to know exactly where he's located. But you can see, slowly pushing up. Martin knows this map. He's played here so often. And is he down? Has Martin gone down? Austria has won. Austria has won. Martin has taken the lead on this. Nico is down. It looks like Germany has not been able to take this win. It's another win for Austria here. That means that Austria is in the next uh, position for the coming up map. And it looks like that's a great win for them. Uh, now we will see a game between Germany and the losing team of the prior match, which is Fabi and Salty. So I'll see, we'll go to another intermissions break. We're going to take off the screen right now, uh, put you guys on the pause and set up the next team. We'll see you guys uh, in the next intermission. Cheers. Cheers. Strong energy. Here we are with another game between the known Austrian team between Cyberbody Fabi and Max Salty is his player name. On the right side we have the contestants from the prior game, Timo and Nico, up against um, the qualified gamers uh, from the Austrian team. 3, 2, 1, and the game has started. We can see Salty pushing up right away. Fabi also much more aggressive. They're immediately taking the forward position here. Looks like they've got the better cover. On the left lane, the cover is not too well taken by Timo. He's very exposed. If someone's going to push up, they're going to be very easily to be taken down. Nico on the right side, still in the spawn area here. But Salty knows where he is. You can see on the top left corner, he really has got him honed down. Here in the, in the live box, we can, see, we can hear the BBs whistling by. We can hear all of that shooting against the wall. Sniper Buddy Fabi taking shots downrange. Um, what by the looks seems to be Timo, both of them close to each other behind cover. Max now also popping off shots towards Timo and Nico. Uh, they're far, far in the left corner of the field. Far by Nico seems to be out. It looks like he's walking off the field right now. It seems to be a confirmed kill. He wouldn't be walking like that if he was still in the game. He's completely out of the game right now. It's just Timo right now. It looks, it looks to be a good match for Max and Fabi, who are still playing fairly, fairly in the back of the field, making sure that they don't get hit themselves, but not taking any risks for now. I, I'm not sure if they are 100% aware that they are only in a 1v2 situation right now. They could be playing much more aggressively. It looks like Sniper Buddy Fabi on the bottom left corner, he's exposing himself much more now. And um, again, another word from our sponsor, it looks like it would be a great idea to give all players a tracer unit uh, to play in the next games because it looks much better when everyone has a tracer unit 
Uh, so everyone and of the players that are still not competing should go to PCU and talk with them uh, to have a tracer unit put on every gun so we can follow the games much better like we can with Favi and with Salty, Max, uh, who are both using PCU tracer units together with Nimrod tracers in this game right now. So this seems to be the game Austria has won yet for the first game. It, leads, it seems to be that they are fighting, the fe they're fighting themselves out of the loser's bracket. Uh, they have a chance to win against Nico and Timo. They're doing a switch right now. Austria has won this match, that's amazing. I don't think I remember where exactly they were coming from, but lots of people have made a huge effort to come here. And I have huge respect for everyone out there. I appreciate that you've come here. Over a hundred players today, uh, Nico and, um, and Sniper Jacko even flying in from as far as the UK 14 days ago, going through quarantine, doing multiple COVID tests just to compete uh, here at the Umbrella Field Days at Airsoft Park Tyrol. And that's game start. Let's see how they're doing this time. Sniper Buddy Fabi and Max staying together closely while Nico and Timo take a more widespread approach, one taking each side of the field, playing much more slowly. They know what, it, what, it's at, what is at stake. They only have one more chance to win, otherwise Timo and Nico are gonna be out of the tournament entirely for this entire night. So this is their last chance, but the same is on the line for Max and Fabi. They only have this one last chance. But as you can see, they're already pushed up. Sniper Buddy Fabi seems to be out of the game. He sat down, and yes, it looks like Timo or Nico, it looks like Timo has actually been able to come around and take him down. Nico going out in the open, he got him. Max got Nico. Now it's just Max against Timo. Both behind cover, they, they seem to be popping off shots against each other. They seem to know where they're at. And that's game, that's game. The Germans win, so we have a head to head. We are going into another change of sides here to see who's gonna come out victorious. This is the match. Are we gonna see any more of Fabi and Salty? Or is it gonna be Nico and Timo who are taking down these contestants? We're getting an upgrade to audio, visuals, and field audio. We're trying to have you guys live on the field by hearing the guns, hearing the shouting, hearing the shooting, hearing the BBs whizzing by. All right, then let's go. Let's do it. Three, two, one. And here we the game start again. Let's go. Let's see how it's going. They're playing so aggressively. This is the last time that they can play and still they're pushing up to the next ball right away. And something that's interesting about night games is the use of not only tracers, but also flashlights. You're giving away your position right away. And this is a small field, but you can see the excessive use of um, of your flashlight will give away your position. Sniper body Fabi behind cover on the right side. Looks like he's holding that lane yet again. It seems to be the same push that they did earlier, victoriously. Um, but let's see. Is Max switching to a sidearm? It seems like he's out of ammo. Has he not reloaded in the meantime? What is he using? He's being shot at. Why does he not have his gun up? Fabi is down. Timo and Nico still in the game. This is phenomenal. I could not believe that they would lose this. What? He's got a knife in his hand. He's throwing a grenade. Both of them, you can see them on Fabi's camera, visually confused about the situation. The Germans win! No more Fabi, no more Salty! Philip and Kevin from Germany and Tom and Pete from Eastern Europe teaming up. Uh, one playing for Russia and the other one playing for Slovakia. So now we have switched around the players. You can see team from Germany on the top right now. Manu from Esther Park to roll is setting up this entire game. has done the switching. You can see right now they're playing together. Both of them pushed up right away. Tom and Philip. Uh, are they taking the hit? It looks like Tom is already out of the game here. Kevin and Pete pushing up, playing much more defensively. And you can really see playing defensively pays out during these kinds of games. And Pete and Kevin still in the game. 
And that seems to be it. I can see a hand up from Philip as well. Thomas also out. Has Germany lost? Germany has lost. It looks like the Eastern team played for Russia and Slovakia between Tom and PCU Pete, guy who is the inventor of PCU tracers, uh, have taken the lead here. Pete from PCU, you wouldn't even know him. Um, he is an insanely good player, very fast paced, also very accurate. And that's game, that's game, that's game. Let's see what's going on here. They're playing much more slowly again. You can see on the bottom, Kevin and uh, Pete and Tom playing together and moving back right now. So camera three and camera four are one team playing together. So you can see, no, no none of these guys want to lose this. They know that if they get hit right now, the, if the German team gets hit right now, they're going to be out. So that's why Tom and Pete, they know they're, they have the advantage, they're staying back as well. They could take a little bit more of a risk. They could take a little bit more of a risk here. But it seems that they are not. Pete pushing up, as I said before, he's a very fast boy. Let's see, pushing up on the cover. Right now he's on the bottom. Can he, can he see them? I'm not too sure. They, they should be seeing each other right behind that barrier. They, you can see their heads. He's taking cover right now. Pete is going back, pushing back right now. He had such a good position. Why is he giving that up? Wait, is he shooting? Is he friendly firing? Is Pete fighting against his own guy? Or what's going on here? No! They're actually both over there right now. It looks to me that top right camera is pushed up quite a bit as well. Pete's still in that little box right there at the first piece of cover. And he's still got an enemy down lane. The enemy team's still still playing very slowly. And we have the first hit, camera four is out. Camera four is out now. So we only have Philip left for his team playing for Germany right now. The Eastern team going down. Uh, and, and not going down and making sure that they are still there, still able to go. You can see that camera four is hit right now. They're no longer in the game. We have marked them with a red uh, designation box to make sure that you're all aware this player is out at this time. So it's only Philip for their team. They're, they're, they're at a disadvantage right now. They're playing 2v1. And they have Pete and... They have Pete against them. So we'll have to see. Pete will probably not let us down. He's out of the game at this point. Pete is out of the game, I just heard. So it's just camera one and camera two. Uh, top left, and that's game. The Germans won. So one more game and we'll find out who's winning. Up right away. We have names Nico with us. Maybe he wants to say a few words and help me moderate this and find out how they're doing. Since you have played this before, you have a little bit more of an experience here. Name Sneaker right here with me. What's you can see yourself. Up? Yeah, GG fam. Hey, can we have a round of applause for Julian? How amazing is this, huh? Revolutionary. Yeah, yeah, Julian on the field. Um, so it looks like it's like it's like uh, Philip and Kevin are the German team. They're playing against Pete and Tom. Pete from PCU. Tom, the guy with night vision, night tech, providing night so vision. It's night tech versus PCU. No, it's night tech and PCU, the two night vision people playing together, oh. doing a night game against the German lads, uh, who are Philip and Kevin. But they're doing great. Philip and Kevin, they are they are one versus uh, they're one on one right now. He's shooting, he's shooting upside down. He's, he's shooting, he's he's shooting down. over the barrier. Look at this. What a geezer! In a weight of techniques here at play at the field days at Airsoft guy? Park to roll. Who is this guy? This is crazy. That was PT. No, 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 no. Never mind. It's Philip. Philip. Right? Him, right? It's Philip. It's Philip is just doing the crazy moves here. Trying like bending BBs. Yeah, he's bending them upside. I've never seen that before. Philip the Avatar bending BBs, mate. Oh my lord. This is intense. Like, look, camera four. Kevin is pushing up around. He's dead now. Yeah, he's down. He's down. The Germans have won. The Germans have won. So we're doing like an airsoft Euros right now. So Germany, Austria, England, Poland. There's all these kind of 
people here and it's two versus two in a CQB area. Now, it's getting harder and harder because it's getting darker. So we have um, PCU tracer units here, which make our BBs glow in the dark, which is like an advantage and a disadvantage because you can see where your rounds are going, but so can the enemy. So it's very, very intense. Right, okay, the players are getting ready. The marshals are briefing up the players, and the next round is about to start. So it's Jonas and Tristan versus PT and Tom. Austria with us, Eastern country, Slovakia, and Russia. So we're having a little bit of rain right now, starting here at the Azov Park. It is, it is, it is uh, saved, saved in all the equipment, so I'll, I'll fill in from one the way. But snap, snap the jumper in the building. Oh, my, 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 oh, part, nice. my partner in crime, we actually smashed it, didn't we? we against, did against, the, against the favourites, we smashed it. Okay, and the game is off. I'll tell you what, these are some good cameras, aren't they? Yeah, really good cameras. Jonas on a left peak here, hold it nice and tight. Or Tristan on a right peak. PT and Tom also holding tight angles as we get some interchanges here. PT almost took a headshot. It's really, really close. Okay, PT now changing. Firing position goes back to his old one. Is Tristan out? Tristan looks like he's out. It would look like Tristan has been hit by the looks of it. Yeah, he's a bit upset. He's gesturing. It's two versus one right now. PT going for a right yeah, flank closing PT. on the enemy. Go on, PT. Jonas holding his angle, getting down some rounds. PT is who I've got my money on. You think PT's going to win, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. PT getting nice and close, low angles, holding that left pie. Jonas swapping from left to right. Did oh, they get the exchange? Trade, the trade. That looked like a trade to me. What do you reckon? Yeah, fair trade. Yeah. And that is the end of the game. All right, you guys don't understand how much going to this. If we could show you this, there's laptops everywhere. There's wires everywhere. It's expensive cameras. This, this is there's so much going on, guys. So, yeah, we're glad that you're here, tuned in. Sit down. This round two. Here's the next oh, round. Fight. Fight. Oh, I'm liking this angle with the tire. Who has won the prior game? Uh, uh, Alright, so this seems to be like if they win this, they could come up again because they lost the prior one. Now they would have a chance to stay in the game and actually win this and kick out Yepa. At least like Tom's got a really powerful torch as well. Yeah, Tom is so prepared. I mean, he has all the night vision equipment. Tonight is also sponsored by Night Tech. They're bringing in all sorts of like equipment. You've seen it. You've seen it. Instagram, on TikTok, and all over the place right now. Right, and they're on your channel too. So whoever wants to check them out, they can go on Nico's page. You can see some of the equipment that they have brought here. Literally making day into night. No, the other way no, around. <laughs> no, it's today. That's like. Oh my English, god. English isn't his first language, guys. You gotta be well, at least I speak another language. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's a compliment. That's a compliment. That's gonna be a compliment. Okay, sorry. No, it's okay. You're good. It's okay. At least you play well. <laughs> so, what, what are we looking at right now? Tristan, Pete, and Tom on the bottom. And pushing up right now. Look how he's going so oh, hard. Who's this guy? Oh, he's oh. falling! Him. Oh, oh no. Did he not hit him? What? Did he not hit him? There's no way he's not hit. <laughs> what happened? Julian, what happened? The Russians win. The Russians win. Oh my god, so this is a win for Tom and Pete. They turned it around, they qualified the loser's bracket. Um, there's too much rain, we have to protect our equipment and make sure that nothing's going down. But this was a great experience for us. I think this was super sick. I love that we've tried this. Uh, this was a super awesome day that we had here at the Field Days for Umbrella. Uh, we're cutting the short, the stream. Uh, Child, protect let's, see, our... let's see some love. Let's see some love in the chat for Airsoft Park, Terrell, Umbrella, Armory, making right. this happen. Make super, sure that you visit cool. this park. This is amazing. They are the only park that I know of that would go through the lengths of this. Looks like we've done uh, a good first try of this type of tournaments. Um, we're gonna sit a little bit out, make sure that our equipment does not die tonight. So something, if you guys want to support this and want us to do more of this kind of stuff, uh, definitely also reach out to Umbrella Armory, send us an email and just say that you love to see this kind of stuff. And we will see to kind of promote this more. Um, what I will personally do is I'll go out to our brand partners. Uh, this was pretty much like a first trial run. Yeah, maybe we can actually walk around a little bit. This camera is free to roam or no? You can see here in the background, like we had to throw everything out because it was suddenly, suddenly starting to rain. And maybe we can walk over here a little bit. Of course, we can see this. 
these were all the guns that we brought out, and some of them were already rescued into the car, I think. And uh, we were just sitting here all day in the in the sun, giving out guns to everyone, and literally just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They're setting up another game right now. This is what we have left. 30 people out of a more than 100 people. 30 people stayed for the night. We're playing from CQB Hall to CQB Hall. And we have an imaginary 50-yard line. So whoever crosses the 50-yard here in the middle, the 50-50 line, they're going to be hit automatically. And then we have the first guys coming out right here. I think that's Martin. He's the guy that is playing very aggressively here too because he knows the field. Push, 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 and push, they're push. just hammering down on them right away. You can see this phenomenally well on the camera. I'm surprised. You can see Martin. He really knows the game and he's down. He's playing so hard. Okay, look at this right here, right here. Look at him, look at him. He's doing another push. Oh, are you okay? Was? Back the night, you can have it. So Mali just said that he actually friendly fired his mate. So yeah, the rule is if you if you kill your mate, you have to go out and take a respawn for yourself, walk back and have a little bit of humiliation from the field owner. I guess that's part of airsoft. Oh, full auto! Oh, they're running right into each other. There's such good energy at the field. You wouldn't even believe it. I wouldn't have thought it would be like that. I thought it would be like this, like everyone playing aggressive, wanting to kill each other. But it's really not the case. Everyone's being so nice. Everyone having a good time, sharing experiences, helping each other having a good time on the field. I haven't had a single report of cheating. I haven't had a single report of uh, people butting heads or anything. It was really professional, but I think it's also when there's so many cameras around, I think people are kind of careful what they say and what they do. So we're going to do a demolition game after this. How about we go back to the stream room and see what we can have in terms of intermissions. What did you say? Huh? Intermissions. Intermissions? <laughs> yeah, let's do some intermissions. Well, it's just like two airs of sitting in the I mean, stream room. I mean, we could do all intermissions. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Okay. Play all the intermissions. All the intermissions. Invade Gear Lemonade, brought to you by AirsoftZone.com, gives you 10% more tactical awareness on the battlefield. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Strong and early. Nico, quick question. Mm -hmm. Who sponsored the BBs for the event? Nemrod. Post. Oh, I feel, oh, I can feel the tactical goodness going through my veins. So, Nico, how do you manage to be so accurate playing airsoft? Nimrod BBs. Nico, another question. Yeah. Who sponsored the shirts for the event? Invader Gear. So, I don't know how you guys yeah. would like that. I don't want to have anything to do. Oh my uh, fucking god! <laughs> and also, early, everyone was wasting. I crashed your video! <laughs> Hannes, 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 I need this on camera, please. So the field owner just now, his, there's a field limit at this field. He's like, so all, all, all things being said, everything being great, he said like, you have to work on your rough. And I'm like, you mean like downwards or what? Because upwards would be kind of ridiculous. And he's like, yeah, this is usually not allowed here. And then there was like this like awkward pause and he's like, but it's, but it's amazing. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, okay, see, like, he knows, he knows it's great. There's a reason for it, there's a space for it, but it's dangerous. Oh, oh, oh my oh. feet! My feet! <laughs> oh, it's not a camera. <laughs> uh, Please it's... don't die. I mean, this is more safe than what you see in the United States. In the okay. United States, you have like holes in the ground. Oh, like, we, we also have holes in the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, have, we have a hole in the bus. <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you mean? 
put yeah. down into the cellar. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. But that's part of the map. You know it's there. It's, it's, it's not like you're just running and suddenly there's like this divot and you break the leg. I love branding and thinking about like things that make you stand out. This bridge is crazy cool. Yeah. Just like just imagine like where do you have this view? I feel like we were driving here and there was this um, place called Eisendrachen. It's a uh, it's near Salzburg, which is okay. like a big castle. Yeah. And that's not for airsoft, obviously, yeah. but it's just a, like a communic site. And Jacob was sitting next to me, he's like, "Oh my god, this looks like the Call of Duty map." Turns out that is actually the Call of Duty map because it's like so scenic. Same here, you look at this, you have a picture of this, it looks like a Call of Duty map or something. Because yeah. you, really cool. you can't make this stuff up. Like, when you come play Airsoft, you have to feel like you're a part of like the whole, you know, like, you have to feel it. Here, you kind of feel it. You come here, you drive, you see this, you're, uh, you're arriving, you yeah. really feel it. You're going down the windy road, you hear the, the road. It's really cool. You hear the river and you see this area and you already know what's going to happen. And then there's all these videos that you've seen in the past and you drive down here and you're just like, it's gorgeous because we're in the middle of two mountains. Everything is green, beautiful. And then you come out onto the field and Nico said this, he was blown away by it. He was yeah. like, this must be the best CQV field that you could go to. The best thing on here is uh, we are alone. Right. We have none of people on the side. Right. We are alone. All airsoft players can play, and nothing is here. Nothing. But no, nothing is here. You set up so much. Like, what airsoft field is there that you can do a stream at? Yeah. Right? What airsoft? We haven't used it as much today, but technically, there are like security cameras set up that you can dial into using IP, yeah. and then you can just have all that data to stream as well. So, you have set up the field to be modern. Like, you're thinking in a way that seems to be in trend with what Airsoft needs to be. Yeah. You're, th you're a forward-thinking person. Julius, let's head back to the stream room. Yeah, and, yeah. and kind of end this yeah, yeah. end this night, man. I mean, the battery is down to uh, the last dot. Well then, I guess, thank you very much for coming out. I must say thank you yet again. I'm sorry for all the advertising, but really, you have to understand, that really isn't just advertising. It means like making this whole thing possible, and that was made possible mainly by Manu, who we were talking with earlier, as a park to roll, and then we had Perun, we had Nimrod Tactical, we had Invader Gear, we have PCU, we have Unicode, we have all these people providing, and then most importantly, HK Filmography, who has put together amazing content, who has put together an amazing stream itself, you know, this whole setup, and who is now behind the cameras and grinding through day and night making this happen. And then I want to thank um, our whole team over at Umbrella, at Umbrella EU here in Linz, um, for coming out and spending the entire week and basically just slaving in a sense um, and like grinding because that's what we needed to do and well I just appreciate it another step in our another little milestone in our journey to make airsoft great again <laughs> uh, if I can use that as a joke if you may allow and then I wish all of you a good night this is Umbrella Armory signing off here at the Umbrella Armory Field Days at Airsoft Park Thank you very much for coming by. Very much.